And tonight, the family of a Stockton High School student stabbed to death on campus is now suing the school district. 15 year old Alicia Reynaga was killed by an intruder at Stag High last year. It's an awful story, and CBS 13's Madison Keeby spoke to the family about why they believe legal action is the only way to protect other students. The family accuses the Stockton Unified School District and administrators of knowing that this campus wasn't secure and leaving students unprotected. She was a really good person. She knew what she wanted. Everybody called her their best friend. Everybody loved her. Alicia Reynaga's parents didn't ask to be voices for change within Stockton Unified School District. But when their 15 year old daughter was stabbed to death on Stagg High School's campus last year by an intruder, they didn't want other families to feel like this. It's been bad. It's getting harder. It's getting harder. It hasn't gotten any easier at all. Reynaga was a rising softball star with dreams of being an orthodontist. Her mom and dad told CBS 13 they filed a lawsuit to protect others. We leave her in the hands of a school when she's dead. I don't want it to happen to another kid. Yeah, of course we don't want this to happen. It should never happen. The 20 page lawsuit says the district, Stag High School's principal, and other school leaders were negligent. This was a closed campus for a reason, and they failed to utilize their existing safety procedures that were already built, already in place. The lawsuit says the gate to campus was unlocked and the entrance was unsupervised. The reason outlined the guard retired with advanced notice. And the position sat empty for months, including the day Renaga was killed. A spokesperson for the district told CBS 13 there's a security guard at the entrance during school hours, added campus security monitors, and extended fences around the campus. But it's district wide safety improvements consistently implemented that Renaga's family demands now. They're not taking it serious. We lost a child. Community lost their friend. Now, CBS 13 asked the district about the lawsuit's claims and did not get a direct response. We're told the school is planning a moment of silence in Reynaga's honor.